says the alleged father is not excluded as the biological father of the fetus. And I need you to father him. Babe, that's me and your father. Uh, oh, it's not excluded. You the father. <laughs> that makes me feel like I wasted my whole f oh. Every time I'm going into his bull like reality if it TV, wasn't white, thinking, it oh, it's, it's for Rock. Out. It's for Rock. Rock gonna go crazy. You think any, you think anybody else? Every time I try to get into it, I think they get all this for a lot of crazy, etc. The relationship between Blueface and Kryshan appears to be at an all-time low in light of recent information that Kryshan may have fabricated her baby's DNA test in order to attribute Blueface's paternity to the child. It appears that she has been severely exposed because Blueface is accusing her of filth and exposing her for trying to baby trap him. This drama has the internet on edge. If you thought their condition was awful before, you should know that it has now reached completely insane proportions. Y'all, Kreshan liked it when they said the baby wasn't blue faces. Do you all notice the similarities? Both the baby and the ex-boyfriend are pictured there. She is about his height, no. Okay, now it appears that Kreshan and blue faces conflict has reached its lowest point. Despite how horrible their drama has been, I doubt that anyone could have anticipated these unexpected developments. Let's face it, these two just have a history of inciting conflict on social media, attacking one another, and even throwing hands in public. Therefore, even though we had extremely modest expectations, they always exceeded them. But this particular scenario really takes the cake because Bluefist is now reiterating his denial that he is the father after Christine was recently exposed for allegedly fabricating the results of her baby's DNA test. Morty, where are you? What's fascinating about this issue is that Bluefist has been adamantly stating that he is not the father ever since it all started, and we all just kind of shrugged it off, assuming he was just being his normal, rambunctious self and searching for drama. In reality, though, Kreshan was quick to refute any paternity claims as soon as she announced her pregnancy. To all of your questions, he said, Yes, Rock and I have officially called it quits. It's all about business. I tried it. And it was obviously not given prior to her announcement. Not mine, but someone else's child is growing inside of her. Before I get a DNA test, Rock had slept with 10 different men in the past year. If so, it is not mine. Not a blue-faced infant either. He flatly denied being the father and made Kreshan take a DNA test to establish his paternity. So he didn't even provide any kind of reasonable doubt. Or else he wouldn't recognize the child as his. Eventually, Christian consented to a DNA test and the results indicated that Bluefus was the father. And we saw this unfold on the reality television program. It states that the putative father is not disqualified from being the fetus biological father. Do you now qualify as the father? That means you are the father, baby. No, it isn't. You are the dad. Now that Bluefist was a parent, we believe that he would finally grow a pair and begin treating Kreisen better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. This really did do it. He posted my, my son online. Well, okay, so, whoa, and how you think he got that picture? I, t I took it to notify him about his kid. Problem, not to use it for clout. Jay, what's wrong with Blueface? It's chopping, bro, why did you, bro? Did I call her chopping? Yeah, but why would he post that picture that his son took a picture of himself in his phone phone? Well, we were completely mistaken about it. Which is not shocking considering how well-known Blueface is. He made no attempt to feel guilty for putting Krishan on blast. And as a result, his behavior deteriorated more. He texted me to Kryzin with messages like, I'm going to cheat forever. I won't even pretend to conceal it. You don't want to be left at home alone with a baby while I'm taking care of the subsequent baby bee. You're doing weirdo sh You're doing it. You don't get I don't stand for You need to go to hell. Today. You need to go to jail. Today. 
I should have called the cops. Right now. I just don't want that karma. Shouldn't I call the cops? I think you should report that because that- A baby will leave us helpless. Given how I already feel about you, you don't want to be stuck with someone like me. Additionally, he attempted to coerce her into terminating the pregnancy. However, when she resisted, he lost his head and stirred up some seriously absurd drama. He announced on Twitter that he didn't want the child and that he would never make child support payments. I told this girl I don't want the baby, he claimed, adding that whatever the judge in his child support case may be, you should set the price fairly because she still has time to get rid of it and she's imposing it on me. She's attempting to catch me. Do not fall victim to her. She still has time to put an end to this. He continued to talk endlessly about how he was not interested in having a child with Crazy in for months on end. Now, he put her through a lot of stress throughout their pregnancy, encouraging her to explore every possibility of aborting the kid, and he didn't even try to disguise his lack of enthusiasm in having the child. Chris Seen was away having a great time in Miami with his other baby mother, Jaden Alexis, Aka Stewie, when Chris Seen went into labor, so he wasn't there for her. But the really juicy part comes next. He had a sudden change of heart and started acting very worried the moment her tiny bundle of joy made his spectacular debut into the world, even threatening to take the child away from Krishan if she didn't comply with his demands. The bizarre aspect about this, though, is that Kryzen failed to include Blueface's name on the birth certificate. His full name is Kryzen Malone Jr. because she went ahead and gave the infant both her first and last names. This indicates that Blueface's name cannot be found anywhere on that birth certificate, which prompted some questions. In fact, Christian tried her hardest for nine months to persuade Blueface to accept the thought of having a child with her by attempting to convince both the world and Blueface that he was the baby's father. And just as she was about to turn around, she neglected to add his name to the birth record. Something doesn't seem right. However, she did note that they had split up when she was pregnant, so that would help to explain the situation. But this is where things start to go crazy. After the kid was born, they reconciled and things appeared to be going well between them. Blueface boarded the flight to Baltimore to visit Grishon and the infant, and it appears that they got along well because she appeared in his most recent music video. He got to know the infant, and they shared some father-son time. Grishon tweeted a photo of the two of them with the message, Daddy and I. So their relationship appeared to be going well and she could have easily added him on the birth certificate at that time, but she didn't. It didn't make much sense too. The mother of all Twitter disputes between she and Blueface brought things to a head a few days ago though. As a result of his attempts to drag her for being an inadequate mother, he exposed the baby's genitalia in a post to demonstrate that he had a hernia and criticized Chris Sean for doing nothing to fix it. Baby still ain't had the surgery for his hernia, among other statements, were included in a string of tweets that he made. She is lying when she claims that he is healthy and doesn't have a pee because of the size of his genital hernia. She keeps talking about me and my seat here. First, I'll fix our son's seat, then I'll go find someone else to rock. I need to quit being the topic of her life. So please tag her in all of your posts, on her page, and in any other way you need to. Additionally, he claimed, I try to do the right thing to keep it private. But this girl keeps on and on, leave me alone. Baby, you crack. She is a poor parent. Yes, she is not fit. She has been skipping appointments and delaying the operation so she may do what she wants. I went to Baltimore anticipating a surgery, but instead they informed me that she had skipped the appointment. She threatened to file charges against him and throw him to jail for this hacking Sean. Who believes you will end up in jail? Since you won't be traveling the world as much as you had anticipated, you should take advantage of your freedom and embrace the time you have right now. She further asserted that Blufus's misbehavior was caused by the fact that she neglected to give the child his name. You're claiming I'm unfit because he's not a Jonathan Jr., but a Christine Jr., she tweeted stating that you want to adopt my child since I gave him my name. 
I'm forced to play the manipulator. He believes I'm slow or stupid. And Blue, please think about your probation more than using my baby as leverage. I have proof, Jonathan Porter. Once more, this kind of brought up the issue of why she doesn't want to formally recognize Blueface as the father of the child. She was willing to submit to a DNA test, even though she was expecting. So what went wrong? It seems that she may have lied during the DNA test. You guys, when Creshawn's ex-boyfriend came forward and admitted that the kid was truly his and not Blueface's, the situation spiraled out of control claiming that Creshawn had been deceiving us all along. In order to demonstrate how much he and the child resemble one another, he released side-by-side -side photos of the two of them. He also wrote, Thank God in advance because this stuff is getting crazy. You are not Blufus's father, he added. When Kryzen loved to post about how her ex was the baby's father, it appeared as though she was confirming the story. Then Blufus exploded on Twitter with the statement, I knew there was something off. I don't believe that child is mine. When I read the DNA test, it seemed a little strange and manufactured. I was powerless to influence that test. Furthermore, why would you have a child in BMO if the baby's purported father lives in Beanmore while you and the said father reside in Lay? I believe they resemble each other more than I do. How do you feel? I have two kids and a baby mother, which is the finest news I've heard all year. And I'm free, he continued. He also commented on how strange it was that when Kryzen delivered him the DNA results, they were already open, adding, I ain't even think about that the paper was folded up and beat up. Morning exams never appear that way. These followers are shaken by the drama, and others on the street have been saying all kinds of things.